Hello mga kawawmat, in this video lesson, we will continue the review for our second quarter exam in pre-calculus. So, we are now in the part 3 of our review. So, for question number 1, in a system defined by an ellipse and a circle, what is the maximum number of solutions? So, kung nare-recall nyo pa, no, yung pinakita natin figure for circle and ellipse. So, ito yon, Okay. So, kapag ganito, walang intersection na naganap, of course, no solutions. And then, kapag ito naman, so, meron lang one intersection. So, ibig sabihin, merong one solution yan. Itong pangatlo na to, meron tayong dalawang intersections, kaya merong dalawang solutions. Yung pangatlo, meron tatlong intersections, kaya may three solutions. At yung last, so, apat, no, yung intersection, one, two, three, four, so, four solutions. So, therefore, here, uh, the answer here, okay, is letter D. Okay, let, letter D. So, this is the maximum number of solutions. Next, the sum of the terms in a sequence is called what? Okay, letter A, geometric sequence. B, ratio. C, series. D, arithmetic sequence. So, from the four choices, what will be? So, balikan natin yung definition nito. So, series is the sum of the uh, of all terms in a sequence. So, if we're going to get the sum, yung 5, 10, 15, 20. So, kapag in natin, so, ibig sabihin nun, that is a series. So, sa pangalawang questions, the answer is letter C. Okay, series. Next. What kind of sequence is 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21? So, as you notice, class, so from 1, okay, so in order, okay, from 1 here, okay, naging 1, and then from 1, naging 2. So, bakit kaya? So, ina-add natin ito, no? We're going to add, so 1 plus 1, kaya 2. And then, para makuha yung next, 1 plus 2, 3. Then, 2 plus 3, kaya 5. Then, 3 plus 5, 8. 5 plus 8, 13. 8 plus 13, 21. So, kung matatandaan natin, what kind of sequence is this? This is an example of Fibonacci sequence. So, each number is the sum of the previous two numbers. So, therefore, here, in this question, the answer is letter D. Okay? Letter D. So, this will be the answer, no letter D. Next. What is the sign of cosine theta in quadrant 3? So, we're going to recall, no? Uh, for quadrant 1, the sign is, okay, all the circular function, so dito tayo, all the circular function in quadrant 1 ay positive. But in quadrant 2, only sine and cosecant, Okay, ang positive dito and the others negative na. In quadrant 3, only tangent and cotangent or the positive sign dito sa quadrant 3. Sa quadrant 4 naman, ang positive lang ay cosine and secant. Since ang tinatanong is in quadrant 3, so therefore, ang sign ni cosine sa quadrant 3 is negative. So, therefore, the answer here is letter B. Okay. Next, what is the sign? Uh, what is the sign of sine theta in uh, two pi over three? Okay, so dapat in no, na double ko yung of. So kung kailangan natin balikan yung kanina, so ito yung basis natin para malaman natin kung anong sign. Pero para makuha natin, we need to uh, identify first in which quadrant yung two pi over three. Uh, so, kasi from quadrant 1, that is from 0 to 90 degrees Yung quadrant 2 natin, 90 to 180 degrees Yung quadrant 3 natin, 180 to 270 degrees Tapos yung quadrant 4, 270 to 360 Now, in order to find the equivalent quadrant So, we're going to uh, convert, no? So, yung 2 pi, convert muna natin. So, 2 pi over 3 times. So, saan natin kinoconvert yan? 180 degrees 
over 5. Okay, so, ma-cancel yung 5. And then, yung 180. Okay? 180 divide 3, that will be 60. So, ang maiwan na lang ay 2 times 60. And that is 120 degrees. So, mula dito, saan natin matatagpuan ang 120 degrees? Of course, sa quadrant 2. Kasi 90 to 180 ay nasa quadrant 2. And then, ano ang sine? Okay? Sine ng sine theta sa quadrant 2. And that is positive. So, therefore, the answer here in this question is letter A.